Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com. On Tuesday, May the 29th, 2012, uh, this is about midday in the trading. This is the SLV, the silver ETF, down about 2.2% right now. And uh, we had a higher high this morning and then uh, quickly uh, came down and took out uh, uh, the low made on uh, Friday session and then undercut this gray line here, the 10-day moving average, and now down towards the lows. So we're attempting to come up off the bottom here. Uh, we made a bottom here at $25.99, one penny under $26, taking out everybody's stop that had it at $26. Uh, I never like to put a stop on whole numbers like that, usually, you know, 10 cents below, something like that. But anyway, so it came back up and rallied up to $28.09 and then pulled back here to $26.33. So, so far, uh, we uh, are in a, um, kind of a neutral zone here. Uh, if we took out $28.09, we'd be back in an uptrend, uh, midterm uptrend. But um, uh, certainly, if we do take out 26.33 to the downside, we'll be back in a downtrend. So we're kind of neutral right now. Uh, we are attempting to come up here to this red line, the 21-day moving average. And uh, so far, it's providing some overhead resistance. And it has for quite some time here. So uh, that's our first line of attack here is to get up and start closing above this red line, which is falling rapidly, by the way. So uh, hopefully uh, uh, silver can ride itself and make a higher high tomorrow, which would certainly put us in range to start challenging this moving average. Of course, we are below the blue line, the 50-day uh, moving average, very important moving average. Lots of traders watch that. So we're pretty much below all the key moving averages here on silver. So uh, in my, my view, uh, no place to be uh, on the long side yet. Um, possibly we build a base uh, or uh, we start an assault on these moving averages. But uh, so far, I'm staying on the sidelines waiting for this thing to play itself out. And moving on now to a weekly chart, getting a little different perspective on silver. You can see that uh, we made this cup shaped base here, actually a double bottom cup here, and got to a high of 36.44. Uh, back here in late February and then uh, basically it's been downhill since and so we're in a down leg still. You can see it very clearly on this weekly chart. Uh, this red line here is the four week moving average. Uh, uh, challenged that a little bit this morning, got up above it, but now down towards the lows here. So um, uh, still you can feel the momentum to the downside. Everything pointed down. All these moving averages pointed down. Uh, so uh, we're watching, uh, uh, you know, that 25.99 is our bottom here. Uh, let's see what happens. Now, recapping the action in silver uh, uh, for the last uh, 18 months here, you can see that silver had a massive run here early in 2011. Uh, peaked out here uh, in the spring, uh, the SLV at 48.35. Just a massive run up, uh, almost doubling here in just a few short months, and then a big pullback. Uh, lots of volatility here, big, big volume, massive volume. And then we kind of stabilized here around the $30 range here and then built up uh, some momentum to the upside, getting to almost $43 here, and then boom. Big leg down, big, very quick, swift leg down, and then rally back up here, another leg down, undercutting the previous low here, and then a big rally up, and now we got a big down leg here. Uh, looking, you know, at the at the way these legs are working, um, you know, they tend to last for several months here, and uh, this might be uh, pretty well uh, played out here. Uh, so we could get a leg up or maybe some sideways action here, but uh, hopefully we don't get much more selling here. Uh, seems like uh, you know, 25, 26 uh, has been the bottom here. Uh, so um, you know, um, but I'm waiting until we get some solid signs of an up move and some up accumulation. And this is silver, uh, the actual metal here. And this is a monthly chart going back here to th 2002. So we were way back here at $5 here, going sideways, kind of a flat base here. And then boom, came up and, and made a big run to eight eight thirty five here uh, back in 04. Quick plunge down, but really following uh, this uh, green dotted line, which is the 20-month moving average. Uh, undercut it here uh, briefly, rallied back up. And then boom, back in 08, during the panic of 08, late 08, we got a big drop, a uh, high of 21.44, all the way down to 8.40. And then it's been uphill ever since uh, 2011. And uh, we peaked, of course, uh, you know, uh, in 2011. And then it's been a down leg ever since. Now, uh, one encouraging sign here is that uh, we may be putting in what's called a triple bottom. We came down 
uh, hit 26, slicing this green dotted line, the 20 month moving average, and then rallied up a bit, came back down, retested, held, and now retested and have held. So uh, triple bottom uh, uh, is encouraging here, provided we do not take out 2615. And then I would estimate that we have a quick trip down here to this black dotted, uh, black dotted line at around $25. And that is, the, of course, the 40-month moving average. But if you look at silver uh, in a longer-term perspective, you can still see that, of course, the 40-month is pointed to the upside. The 20-month is pointed to the upside. Uh, we are down below the 20-month, so we are in a bear market. Uh, but uh, we have been able to rally above that in, in previous uh, times here. And uh, so um, one bearish sign is we have the blue line, the 10-month moving average crossing the 20-month moving average. So momentum is clearly uh, you know, down or sideways at best on the monthly chart. So certainly I'd love to see us get back above uh, this green dollar line, the 20-month moving average, and take out 37.58, which would clearly, clearly be a great sign for an assault back up here to 45. So silver uh, sideways uh, dull action right now uh, after a big leg down, possibly exhausting its move to the downside. But let's wait and see. Uh, let's see what happens here. Um, don't be surprised if we get a run here. Uh, I, I would actually anticipate something like that. Okay, thanks for listening.